Get ready to enter the ring of the bizarre as we explore the strangest and most outlandish super moves in the world of Street Fighter and other fighting games. From the downright ridiculous to the mind-bendingly awesome, we've got it all. Whether you're a seasoned fighting game pro or just love a good laugh, you won't want to miss this showcase of the weirdest moves ever to grace our screens. So grab your joystick, mash those buttons, and join us on a journey through the wild and wacky world of fighting game super moves. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Fighterverse. Our first hits very close to home and starts with the infamous joke character Dan Hibiki. When it comes to Street Fighter's Dan Hibiki, it's no secret that he's a comedy staple. His moves may not be the most devastating in the game, but they're certainly some of the funniest. From his iconic pink gi to his ridiculous taunts, Dan is the perfect embodiment of comic relief in a game that's known for his intense fighting action. That truly set him apart from the rest of the cast. From his comically weak fireball that has pathetic range to his Seisho Buryakin Super, where he charges at his opponent with a barrage of punches, while grinding from ear to ear. Dan never fails to bring a smile to his opponent's face, but his super taunt takes things to a whole new level. By spending max meter to do nothing but leave himself at its opponent's mercy, it's a move that's both hilarious and infuriating at the same time. And then there's the Otoko Michi from the Marvel games. It is a move that's as ridiculous as it's entertaining. By doing the Raging Demon Super command in reverse, Dan dashes towards his foe, grabs them, and with a loud cry to his father, he blows up in a fiery explosion. The move inflicts a decent amount of damage to his opponent, leaving them with just a speck of health left. But here's the catch. Dan sacrifices himself in the process, making it a move that's both heroic and utterly ridiculous. In the end, it is moves like these that make Dan Hibiki such a beloved character in the Street Fighter franchise. He may not be the strongest fighter in the game, but he's certainly one of the funniest. And that's a super move in and of itself. The next one on our list is no other than the Darkstalkers franchise. From Vampire Savior, the Midnight Bliss move. Dimitri, the dark and brooding vampire from the Darkstalkers series may not be known for his humor or quirkiness, but he has a super move that's definitely unforgettable. Known as the infamous transformation super move, Dimitri unleashes his power to grab his opponent, dash towards them, and then transform them into something completely different before draining their blood. But what makes this move truly bizarre and entertaining is the transformation itself. For male opponents, they're transformed into stunning women, while female opponents get dolled up or turned into something strange. It is a move that it's as outrageous as it is unpredictable, and it's no wonder that it's become a signature move for Dimitri. What's particularly interesting is that this move adds some much needed flavor to Dimitri's otherwise standard Shoto moveset. It's a move that's both flashy and fun, and it's no surprise that it's made appearances in other fighting games like SVC, SNK vs Capcom Chaos, and Capcom Fighting Evolution. Dimitri's transformation super move may be unusual and sometimes even uncomfortable, but it's certainly a move that stands out from the rest and the pack. It is a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of the Darkstalker series, and a reminder that sometimes the most unexpected moves can be the most entertaining. This one in our list comes from another different franchise, and it's definitely super weird. When it comes to weird super moves in fighting games, Guilty Gear's Fausts takes the cake. Forget Mortal Kombat fatalities and instant kills, Faust's supers are in a league of their own. This guy blows up his opponent with an afro-inducing bomb, accidentally nukes the entire stage, and even gives impromptu plastic surgery to his opponent, complete with a randomly generated face. But his simulating fist of annihilation takes the cake for being the dodgiest of them all. In this move, Faust swims through the ground and gives his opponent a game of chance. It's a classic cup and ball trick, with the angel hiding in one of four cups. If the opponent finds the angel, they'll escape the move on Scath, but if they find the reaper, things get weird. Foss sticks his fingers together and strikes a stimulating spot, and the opponent is left to suffer the consequences. What makes this move even more bizarre is how it's presented in the newer Guilty Gear XRD games. Thanks to the power of 3D graphics, the camera zooms in on Foss' fingers and his foe's unfortunate reactions, making for a truly unsettling viewing experience. So if you thought Mortal Kombat's fatalities were weird, think again. Guilty Gear's Faust takes the cake with this dodgy, stimulating Fist of Annihilation move. It is a reminder that when it comes to fighting games, anything is possible, and sometimes the weirdest. Coming back to the Street Fighter series, there is one particular character with one wacky super move. Akuma's Raging Devon super move is one of the most iconic in fighting game history, but with such popularity, 
it was only a matter of time before it spawned some wacky imitators. Characters like Morrigan, Iggy, and Skullomania have all put their own spin on the move, and while they may not be as fearsome as Akuma's original, they're certainly memorable in their own right. Skullomania, in particular, has a unique take on the move. In the original EX and EX Plus Alpha games, he would strike his foe with quick cuts of attacks in a comic book style, but in the sequel, Skullo Dream, the move was spiced up with some random cutaways that add a touch of humor to his beatdown. Picture this, Skullomania stomping his opponent between the legs, fighting them in a dust cloud, or even having a polite cup of tea with them at a little table. It's a hilarious take on the classic super move that's both unexpected and entertaining. And in a world of dark and gritty fighting games, it's refreshing to see a character like Skullomania bring a bit of lightheartedness to the table. This is one of the biggest crazy moves I've ever seen in the Street Fighter franchise. When Street Fighter 4 hit the scene, the fighting game genre was relived and its updates kept players hooked. The ultra combos were a spectacle to behold, with Yoon performing skateboard tricks on his opponent and Rufus transforming into a kung fu whirlwind. But no one could have predicted the madness that was Hakan, the Turkish oil wrestler. Covered in oil, Hakan would lay on the ground waiting for his opponent to slip up, literally. Once they did, he'd grab them with a the flourish and squeeze them so hard they'd slip out like a greasy bar of soap and crash into the edge of the screen. Hakan's eccentric appearance and moves hinted at something wild, and the oil combination hold certainly delivered. Thanks for tuning in to our video on the weirdest super moves in fighting games. From Dimitri's gender bending transformation to Hakan's slippery oil combination hold, fighting games have no shortage of bizarre and entertaining supers. What's your favorite weird super move? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Stay tuned for more epic adventures in the Fighterverse. Until next time, welcome to the center stage.